USA Water Polo Men's Division Three National Collegiate Championship third place match. Two great games out in Claremont. Johns Hopkins and MIT. Goalies getting things going in this East Coast showdown with stops on each end. Then Evan Cole pumped to get MIT on the board early. Johns Hopkins wastes no time getting involved. Ian Raley, Cameron Burns, and Emerson Sullivan are on the job. They each get goals and the Blue Jays in front 3-1. MIT's Colin Weaver opens the second with a stop in cage, but Seth Burke goes cross cage for Johns Hopkins. They go up 5-3. After Hopkins gets a fill block, Kyle Pearson is there to catch the ball in goal. Then his teammate Sullivan gets his second. They are rolling 6-3. Five meter opportunity for Johns Hopkins, but Weaver is there with a the save. And on the other end, Pearson is back with another stop. How about the goalies as we keep the defense rolling? After a quick goal from Jaden Kunwar on the Johns Hopkins side, Miller Geschke cuts the deficit down as he gets MIT's fourth goal, making it 7-4. Weaver ends the quarter just as he started it with another block, and we head to the third. Lots of back and forth here as each team gets two goals apiece, and we've got a two-goal game. Johns Hopkins in front, 9-7. Alex Friedline rises up and hits for MIT's eighth goal. He is fired up to help his team get a little bit closer to third. Pearson is back with another solid block, but Geschke goes skip, and that's in. We're tied at nine. Liam Hausenbold, a household name. An impressive backhand for Johns Hopkins. Then Kyle Sandell gets his own backhand to keep things tied at 10. Final moments now. Johns Hopkins, Chris Fries, the quick redirect, seals the deal. They take it 11-10. Afterwards, we hear from Olin Shipstead and head coach Max Schlegel about Johns Hopkins' journey to the D3 championship and the future of the program. But yeah, I think it's an awesome learning experience. I mean, this whole season we've grown so much because we are such a young team. And to see the progression of, of who we were that first tournament, you know, first weekend of September. And so now here we are in December, months later, uh, I think we're just two completely different teams. And, and people are stepping up from all over the place, showing real signs of, of grit, of competitiveness, of leadership. And it's really exciting. It makes me happy to know that uh, I'm leaving a program finally after so many years. <laughs> that I, I trust and that um, has so much signs of, of success moving forward. But having guys come in not knowing some of the basics of water polo, even though they're great athletes, they know the general sport, but getting into the details, I, I would say we didn't actually run Hopkins water polo until maybe three quarters of the season and now we peaked here and now we, we're not gonna return six guys with college experience, we're gonna return 16 guys with college experience, which is mind-blowing to me as Hopkins coming from a team of 11 and 13 at times to, to return that number and, and have them know the system, how, have them know what I want out of them and the, and the pressure that it takes to be here and win. Um, you know, we're going to be real tough next year with all that returning.